Yes, my between the liners, you already know what time is. Welcome back to the latest episode for the review of Game Week 11 in the BTL Pods Fantasy League. As you can see this week, we all had absolute stinkers, especially this guy here. Luckily, he's not in our league, but look at his team. He had Romero, he had Dogi, he had Baksaki, and he had McAllister in there and he ended up with one point luckily for you guys in the league none of you got one point this week otherwise I would have absolutely rinsed you out on this video right now but the rest of us all did pretty bad I think because of Harlan, Alvarez, Salah, Saka, Son, Watkins, Romero, Udogi all let us down Another interesting point before I move on quickly, we were 45 teams. We're now dropped down to 44 teams. My guy, Coach Watson, who was bottom of the league, I don't know if he's forfeited, if he's been relegated, if he's just upset because he's bottom and maybe I've been cussing him out. My guy, Coach Watson, I hope you don't take it personally. Please get back into the league. And if not, we're going to continue with 44 teams anyway. This week, we had three wild cards used. They were used by Garnacho7, Final Fantasy, and Moment Grill. This week, we also had three hits used. Three free hits used, sorry. One of them was Ijaz, my little cousin Ijaz. His team is called Gimme the Mane. He's smashing it in the league. He's 12th out of 44 teams in the league. This week, he got 37 points with his free hit. He had Douglas Louise in there as captain, incredibly. Ijaz, my little cousin, please get in the comments and explain to us what the hell were you thinking, my guy but to be fair to him he's got 37 points so well done Ijaz you did better than a lot of other people in the league this week uh Ferzul FC who's quite high up in the league I believe he's third in the league sorry he's second in the league uses free hit as well first get in the comments you're probably pretty disappointed this week because you only got 27 points after using your free hit pretty disappointing week for first this week I'm guessing and finally the last free hit Salt and Kepa Gudu, who was on the channel this weekend. Go check out the Big Six Breakdown if you haven't already. I had my mates from the South Coast, Pompey guys. They came down on the channel and Gudu told me he used his free hit this weekend. Incredibly, before his free hit use, he had Doku in the team. So this weekend, he missed out on Doku. Not only that, Gudu's a Chelsea fan. He got 38 points out of the, using the free hit, which isn't that bad this week, considering the rest of the league. But he also had Nicholas Jackson on the bench. You could have got him a massive 16 points. Gudu, my guy, get in the comments. What were you thinking? Why are you not backing your team, my brother? And finally, the last bonus feature that was used, one triple captain. <laughs> and you guys have already seen, everyone's had howlers this week. So you can already guess, the triple captain... Didn't do him any favours at all. It's two file. His team is called Party Time. And he's somewhere mid-table in the league. He's 30th in the league, sorry, out of 44. He had Mo Salah as his triple captain, which only got him six points. Oh, I know you're pissed with that two file. Let us know in the comments what you're thinking. How disappointed are you right now? And why are you not saving your triple captains for double game week, guys? Come on. And even your free hit, potentially. Anyway, let's move it on. You heard the free hits. You heard the triple captains, the wild cards. We're taking on to the next topic. This is the captaincy situation. This week, Harlan captaincy numbers rose to 33 out of 44 in the league this week and unfortunately that guy cost I had him as captain as well that guy cost us week, this week he come off injured at half time or something then he scores in the Champions League like two days later are you injured are you not injured why are you not scoring in a 6-1 six, one, six, one win for Man City and you're coming off injured at half time you've messed up everything for us Harlan Sorry, I got a bit personal there, man. Got a bit heated. Salah had eight captaincy choices. Messed up for you guys as well. Only two times two, so four points. Alvarez had one captain choice. Team easy, two times two is four. Douglas Luiz, who we've already mentioned. Ijaz used him as part of his free hit. Ijaz, please get in the comments. Let us know what you're thinking. Douglas Luiz as captain is a crazy shout, my guy. And we had one captaincy choice for Watkins, who only got four points as well. 
Moving it on to the Howlers, there's only one place we can start as usual. We're going to start with the team that's got the lowest points in the league. Team Hosena, who's actually quite high up in the league. He's 10th in the league. Nojmo, United fan. He had 13 points in the game week this week. 13. Wow, look at his team. Hella zeros, hella ones, hella twos. Nojmo, you're probably howl of the week this week, my guy. 13 points. That's probably the lowest we've had since we started this season. Taking it to second lowest points in the league this week. He's also from the South Coast. He was also on the Big Six breakdown this, this past Sunday gone. It's Hassanul. His team is called Don't Do That FC. He's got 30, he's 32nd out of 44 in the league. He got 14 points. Wow. Hassanul, my guy, what were you thinking? Look at his team. A doggy on minus four. Lewis Colwell and Cash got him zero points. His defense got him a total of minus four points. Hassanul. Hassanul, I was about to say something about Sunday. I'm not going to say that on this video. I'll save that for another time. <laughs> he also had Archer on the bench who could have got him an extra nine points. There was three people, I believe, that had 17 points, so third lowest in the league. That was the Cess Pistols. He's called Jack. He had Udogi as well. My cousin Mobin, Mobs, shout out Mobs, who's had a big operation recently. Make sure you guys pray for him. He also got 17 points and had Udogi. Also, the guy that's currently fourth in the league and was battling in the title race, Vimul with Klops and Robbers also got 17 points, a measly 17 points. And he had Lascelles on the bench who got him, he would have got him nine points. Let's move it away from those guys and take it to the new team, bottom of the league. He's a regular on the channel. Coach Watson's left, so there's a new bottom of the league. Regular on the channel. It's my guy. The Middle Eastern Mason Mount is Ryan. I'm sure you've seen him on the channel. His team is called Bad to the Bowen. Wow. Ryan acts like he knows bare shit about football. Comes in the WhatsApp group chat. Gives it, oh yeah, Sancho's sick. Oh yeah, Sancho's finally going to turn up. Oh yeah, I know bare shit about football. Lewandowski's a flop, blah, 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 blah. Ryan. Your bottom of the league, my guy. What are you thinking? What ball knowledge do you even have? Get in the comments. You big loser. And you know what? You know what's worse for Ryan? The team that's above him, my guy Param, a.k.a. Paz. His team is called the A team, which I said last week, you need to change that to the Z team, my guy. The team above him, Param, I don't even think my man's playing anymore. How is he finishing above Ryan in the season? And he's not even playing. He's got Ramsdale still in goal. He's got Dan Byrne, who's injured. He's got Caicedo in his team, who's a CDM, basically. He's got Odegaard, who's injured. He's got Isaac, who's injured. Param is not even playing. And Ryan is still finishing below this guy. Ryan, you need to sort your team out, my guy. It's getting embarrassing. Next. Another howler, safe the underachievers. He's 40th in the league out of 44. Well, you guys down there are stinking it up, I'm not going to lie. He had Trippio on the bench, and he could have got him an extra nine points. I guess it makes sense they were playing Arsenal. But Trippier's come out with nine points. So safe. You've made a big error there. Pilau put in. Bilal had Trippio and Archer on the bench, so he had 18 points there on the bench. AC Midjan had Palmer on the bench. Could have got him an extra, I think, 14 points. And he only had 18 points this week. So he's also missing out. Also a guy that was on the Big Six breakdown this Sunday. Make sure you go check that out. Taking it onto the clash you've all been waiting for. And I'll tell you what. I'm actually speechless. Not only were they on the exact same points last week for the, for the season. They've done it again this week. They're on the exact same points for the season this week again. Therefore, meaning they got the exact same points this game week as well. Incredibly, Shahan v Shahan have both ended up with 23 points this week. You cannot stop destiny. You cannot stop fate. You cannot stop destiny Idogi. I'm just trying a little expressions thing there. You know expressions? Does best syllables and similes and all that. Anyway, the battle for Shahan Vishan stays tight. The 
Clash of the Two Titans, the Battle of the First Names, Shahan v Shahan, both on 23 points. Shahan had remote minus four for Romero in there, which harmed him. But these guys have now, look at their battle. They've played 11 game weeks. Shahan's won six of them. They've drawn one, which was this week. And Shaz Shahan has won four of them. The battle of Shahan v Shahan continues. Take a look at this as well for big fighting words from Shahan. I'm you, here, man. bruv. I'm here. But I got a message, innit? Yeah. <laughs> got a message, message for uh, Shahan, yeah? I'm here, bro. Where you at? Uh, where <laughs> you at, Shahan? <laughs> Shahan, where are you, my guy? You're bat you two are battling it down there near the bottom. 35th and 36th in the league. My guy Lewis is just behind you. Shout out Lewis, by the way, the nine-year-old turning 10 this month. Happy birthday to you, Lewis, this month. He's only three points behind Shahan and Shahan. Shout out Lewis, Jurgen Flip Flop. Taking it on to a new battle, which I wasn't aware of until Arky, who also was here on Sunday, told me about the battle. This is battle of Rice Rice Baby. Both their teams are called Rice Rice Baby. Arky is taking the lead into 16th. Erky and Rice Rice Baby has dropped down to 17th. There's only a one point difference between them in the table. It's heating up. Whoever comes lowest out of them two by the end of the season will get have to change their name. They have to change their team name. Let's get it right. That's the only way we can settle that debate. Moving on to the good picks this week. My guy Tunjay, also a regular on the channel. His team's called Turkish Delights. He's ended up 29th out of 44. He got 41 points this week. Did well because he had Bernardo and Palmer in his team. He got 26 points between them. That's more than double certain man that got this week. Shout out Nojmo. Harry Kane Griezmann, last week's manager, last month's manager of the month. His team is called Harry Kane Griezmann. His, his name is Dylan. He had Nicholas Jackson up front. Well done to you, my guy. The only guy that had Nicholas Jackson in his team starting, at least, because obviously Goodwin had, Goodwin had him on the bench. And that got him an extra 16 points. Third highest points total this week, my baby cousin, Saib. His team is called Bondu's FC. He's 19th out of 44 in the league. Well done to Saib. Look at his team. There's a few pretty decent differentials in there. I'm not going to lie. Saib, help out your boy Ryan because he's stinking it up down there. Look at Saib's team. He's got Onana. He's got Trippier. He's got Bowen. He's got Gordon. He's got Matoma. Also joint with Tyler. He's called his team easy. And he also got 44 points. Uh, and... Mitchell, one of Sai's favourite players, actually got Tyler 15 points, which is massive. A great shout from Tyler. Teams of the week. Notice how I said teams, by the way. Teams. For the first time in 11 game weeks, we have got more than one team of the week. This week, getting a massive, and I say massive lightly and sarcastically, but getting a massive 46 points both of them, Daniel and Derby Day, he got 46 points and he's 26th in the league out of 45. Look at his team. He's got Pope in there. He's got Dallow in there. He's got Bruno in there. Dan's a Man United fan. Shout out Dan for getting my guy Bruno. I respect it a lot. Even I took him out this week, to be honest. Well done, Dan. And also had Palmer in there, as I've said. Next, taking it back to the down south of England, the south coast. He wasn't here this Sunday. I actually met him for the first time about a month ago. Shout out Hamim, also United fan. His team is called Paris Gangaman. He also got 46 points. He's 38th out of 44th in the league, so he desperately needed them points. Look at his team. He had Anana in there. He had Trippier in there. He had Bruno in there. And he also had Matoma in there. Shout out the United guys picking Anana and uh, Bruno. Really respect it a lot coming from a United fan. Moving it on, away from the teams of the week. Well done to Dan. Well done to Hamim. But I'm going to have to take it to the top of the league. Even though he didn't get the highest points, I cannot go on without recording this video without mentioning my other cousin. You know what's a recurring theme in these videos? A lot of you guys are either from the South Coast, Portsmouth, or you're my cousins, or you're just Shahan and Shahan battling out. <laughs> Uh, taking it to the top of the league My other cousin The better brother of the Saibs It's Naib Naib at the top of the league His team is called I Spice Rice For the seventh week running My guy is top of the league Well done to Naib Whatever the formula is Please get in the comments and let us know He's now 
50 or 48 points ahead of second place Furs, and he's really starting to build a gap between the top well done to Naib let us know the formula you guys get in the comments who do you think was Howler of the Week was it Hassanal was it anyone else what do you think of the battle of Shahan v Shahan it's really heating up and it's a new battle rice rice baby coach Watson let us know where have you gone you were our 45th team it's now down to 44 and I don't mind because if Ryan's bottom we'll all have a good laugh I don't want coach Watson to be bottom anyway make sure you share comment like subscribe all that I've just come straight from work I need to get to football now as well see you on the next one peace out Between Between the lines. Lines.